Hello, I'm David Candler Hicks of the Alliance Legal Group. Today I'm going to discuss short sales. A short sale is when a bank or mortgage lender agrees to discount a loan balance due to an economic or financial hardship on the part of the mortgagor. In a short sale, the homeowner sells the mortgage property for less than the outstanding balance of the loan and turns over the proceeds of the sale to the lender in full satisfaction of the debt. In all short sales, the lender has the right to approve or disapprove of a proposed sale. The amount forgiven by a lender is considered income for the borrower and is liable to be taxed. However, the Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Relief Act of 2007 removes such tax liability and allows the borrower and lender to work freely together to find a common solution that is beneficial to both parties. This protection is limited to primary residences, excluding rental properties, so consultation with a tax advisor is necessary to ensure that a borrower qualifies. A short sale does affect a person's credit report, though the negative impact is typically less than a foreclosure. What's needed for a short sale? Well, first you will need what they call a hardship letter. This statement of facts describes how you get into this financial bind and makes a plea to the lender to accept less than the full payment. Next, you will need proof of income, assets, and liabilities. Lenders will want to know if you have savings accounts, money market accounts, stocks or bonds, negotiable instruments, cash, or other real estate, or anything of tangible value. They will also want to know about any debts and liabilities that you have. They will also need copies, current copies, of any of your bank statements. When you reach an agreement to sell with a prospective purchaser, the lender will want a copy of the offer along with a copy of your listing agreement. Be prepared for the lender to renegotiate commissions and to refuse to pay for certain items, such as home protection plans or termite inspections. Generally speaking, the lender will require that you put your property on the market for sale for 90 days. Then they will consider all offers and decide whether or not they want to take it.